MMA Boxing Talk here. I just wanted to put out a short video um, giving my Fighter of the Year and Fighter of the Year candidates. Real quickly, I'll go through my five candidates. Um, Cody Garbrandt, Amanda Nunez, Michael Bisping, Conor McGregor, and Stipe Miocic. Um, I think you can make pretty good cases for any of those fighters, um, especially Stipe and Cody Garbrandt. Um, Connor as well. But I mean, I think Stipe and Garbrandt are the, the 1A, 1B fighter of the year. It's tough to give. There's no clear cut guy this year. You know, there really isn't. Um, but I think Stipe and Garbrandt are 1A, 1B. I think that um, their cases are stronger than the others. First of all, Garbrandt, um, he won, you know, he had three first round KOs. And then to, to top it off with that master class against Dominic Cruz, and nobody ever does that to Dominic Cruz, and nobody expected Garbrandt to be able to do that to Dominic Cruz, or expect anyone to ever do that to Dominic Cruz, and it happened. Um, and it was Luke Thomas that mentioned all of his fights this year, um, he's just improved every single fight. You know, the first fight, I think, Augusto Mendez, it was four and a half minutes. It took him to knock him out. Against Thomas Almeida, it was, I think, under three minutes or just around three minutes. And then against Mitsugaki, it was under a minute or around a minute. And then he puts on this master class against, you know, the, the Bantamweight GOAT, a pound for pound. I think he was pound for pound number three, Dominic Cruz, and he just master classes the fuck out of him. You name Unanimous decision, clear cut, um, and of course Stipe getting becoming champ uh, as well, getting three first round KOs this year as well. Um, you know, beating Ar Arlovsky in the first round, knocking out Fabrizio Verdum in the first round to become champ, and also knocking out Alistair Overeem in the first round. Um, unbelievable. You know, he really had a good year as well. Um, and like I said in my my uh, year in review video I just posted, um, Stipe should defend his title and Garbrandt should defend his title on a card in Cleveland, you know. Both guys are, are from Ohio. Um, they have big fan bases over there. They're both champions. They're both fan favorites. They're both exciting fighters. Put them both on one card. Maybe have it for April, May. I think that would be tremendous. Um, so, let me know what you guys think. I mean, Connor, you can make a good case for him too. You know, uh, yes, he did lose to Diaz, but he rematched him and he avenged that loss. Um, and it was at 170. You know, you got to take that in consideration. That's an impressive feat. Connor's not made, his body's not physically designed to be fighting at 170. Um, and he still pulled off the win. And then what he did to Eddie Alvarez, no one's ever done that to Eddie, becoming the first, you know, double champ. Um, Bisping, you know, he had some. It's tough to, to give it to Bisping. I know he's fighting better than he ever has. Um, but I mean, he 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 did beat a washed up Anderson Silva. I mean, a washed up Dan Henderson. You know, um, and they were close fights, especially the Bisping one. Um, obviously. It was a huge upset against Rockhold, not taking anything away from him. Um, but I think uh, Stipe, Garbrandt, Connor a little bit ahead of Bisping. And Amanda Nunez, you know, impressive as well. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, yes, she beat two legends, but they were kind of one foot in, one foot out the door. Ronda, I mean, she knew if she lost, she wasn't coming back. I'm sure in her deep, deep inside her, she knew that. So she would have really had one foot in, one foot out. And Misha Tate did as well, you know. Um, not not taken away from those wins. Uh, and Shevchenko was a close fight. So, I mean, I, I really think it, it's, like I said, Stipe, Garbrandt are 1A, 1B, and Connor would be number two. Um, that's my um, fighter of the year and candidates. It's really tough this year to pick one clear-cut guy. Like I said, you can make a case for a lot of them. Let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know what you guys think of, of what I picked. You know, Connor number two, Stipe Garbrandt, 1A, 1B. I want to hear your thoughts on that. That's it for this one. If you liked the video, subscribe. Check me out on Twitter, at MA Boxing Talk 1. That's it for this one. Hope you liked the video. Peace.